I don't promote hate speech on my channel, dude. My fucking asshole YouTube trolls love to mass flag my videos. Yeah, man. Yo, I'm on the scene with more mozi. Don't give a fuck if we get mean, cause the trolls are mean. We get lean, punching them back. We can handle how we stack. So we come and have these trolls like a fucking heart attack. This shit they spit is whack. I told these fucking trolls to suck my fucking ass crack. Yo. Drinking that rum, these trolls are nothing but a bomb. Max, I'm about to bust a cum load in your mom. When I unload, these mad rap skills like shells. Shotgun blast, leave them in the past. 12 gauge cobras out of this cage. Ready to hit the fucking stage. The trolls trying to cause me to have an autistic rage. They can kiss my ass. Burgers. Spitting rhymes from nickels and dimes. Chilling like a rockstar villain. Killing time while I bust a rhyme. Yo, it's just mad, cause I won't be there in your stepdad and then no cobra and more and more rad. Yeah, but my bad, step back for a second and listen, cause I got these trolls kissing my ass while they <laughs> hit that grass and spit the rhymes and drink the rum. Mad, cause I come inside their mom, cause she said my dick and lyrics were the bomb. Blowing your mind when I let rewind this track. Got these trolls sucking me and Mormo's nutsack. These trolls is whack. Yo, fuck the trolls. Me and Mormo Zine on the scene. Don't give a fuck if we get mean. Cold clock, these motherfuckers clean. What time is it? Mormo Zine time when I bust a rhyme. These motherfuckers can't handle the jealous of a rebellious spirit's punk scene never dies. Gonna punch these trolls till they cry. Motherfuckers already know why. Mormo Zine on the spot. Yeah, Madness Flow in the 307 Sending these trolls to heaven to hell On a one-way shotgun, shutter to shell Well, put them on blast, leave me in the past Yeah, cause the bullshit ain't gonna last We drinking this liquor just a bit quicker Cause the refs be getting sicker, goddamn, wait a second Yo, yeah, we know how this shit go down, motherfuckers I wear this crown with my fellow kings and queens of YouTube Trolls just mad cause they're sucking on their mom's boob But wait a minute Sucking on their mom's click and come too legit to quit when I spit this mad rap shit. These fucking trolls can suck their mom's clip, but wait a minute, stupid motherfuckers. They're nothing but cock suckers. God damn, wait a second. Don't gotta wait, cause I'm not irate. I'm gonna fucking clean these trolls and cold clock their plate. And that's where it's at, cause these rats be great. Chilling out in our home state. Busting the mad flow like nobody knows. These trolls bullshit blows. But their mom blows them. Cause they're much of nasty cocksuckers and motherfuckers. Nothing but wannabes and suckers. I say fuck the trolls and that's where it's at. Yeah. Hello, 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 beautiful creatures of the internet. I'm your armchair quarterback, Mingo Jones. Uh, yes, I did not realize that the video was about to end, and of course I had to cough, so for that, I apologize. That's bad timing on my part. I'm a professional. Uh, so, today, on our list of themes and stuff, we have Naked and Laughing's uh, Broken Phone Stream as brought to us by the Jessica Chronicles, Boglum Chronicles' new channel. We have two Shani and Rev Instagram videos. I don't know if we'll get to both because one of them is like 40 minutes long, but we'll see what happens. I do have a Tony Chase video. I didn't put it in the title, but I have a Tony Chase video. And then, of course, we have Kate desecrating food. So, let's uh, do the spiel. We'll say hi to the folks. We'll get into the shit because we have a nice little list of things to cover today. So, uh, as always, in the description, you'll find links to the stream purse, someone that shared stream yard with, you'll find links to the petty pay, and you'll, wow, hold on, let me start that over, because I just, I can words.
As always, in the description, you'll find links to the stream for some of the shared stream read with. You'll find links to the Petty Fam. You'll find links to Tito and Yato. Tito is funnier than Yato. You'll find Mango's master list of U.S. resources with everything from LGBTQIA plus resources to domestic violence resources to reproductive health resources and beyond. Need help finding a resource? Hit me up. I'll see what I can do to help. There's no guarantees. Pinned at the top is small human stuff. Is there a big goal on the small human stuff? Yes. Do I expect to meet that goal? Fuck no, because I have realistic expectations. Uh, if you want to help, great. If not, great. It's your money. Do with it as you please. All right. I, I think I got through it pretty well. All right. Let's let's go say hi to the people. And we'll get into the stuff and the scenes. Hello, hello, Hyun. Crack binge. You and Seth always showing up with or without crack. Mm -mm. Seth, time for gay, but I'm all out of gay. Like Hyun said, hit up your homie for a recharge. Hello, hello, Reaper. Hope you're doing well today. It's lovely to see you. Griffin Doggo! Hi! Welcome, welcome. Good morning, Arxinium, my twin. How you doing today, bud? I hope you're doing well. Gilgamesh, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello, J Mag. We have an Anna Banana under Haven. Yeah, yeah, hi. Hello, hello, Stephen Andrew seven seven seven. I want my mom. Uh, I, don't, I don't think she can help here. Oh my goodness! Hold on. There is a dog pooping in their own lawn. I repeat, there's a dog pooping in their own lawn. <laughs> hello, hello, Jinyu. Good morning, Mango and Dr. Small Human Esquire. Good morning, Corner Critters. You know, it's funny. We haven't really sent too many people to the corner lately. I think it's because all of us just live in the corner at this point. And Dr. Small Human Esquire was literally up all night. He's maybe taken like a three-hour nap. I think he's like adjusting his sleep schedule, but I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> hello, hello, Knitting Gamer. Good morning, my day zero radiation starts in two weeks, and I'm absolutely excited to actually start. Happy Monday to everyone, and a very happy Monday to you. I am so excited for you, and I hope that it all goes well. Hello, hello, Sting Doll. I hope you're doing well. All right, I think that's everyone. Uh, also, hello to any of the lurkers, anyone that, you know, comes in during the stream because you know i'm gonna stop and say hi to you like this just that's who i am but yeah uh let's get started with some stuff and some themes i'm trying to figure out where to start you know what? we'll check in on tony real quick we'll check in on tony chase it's always good to check on frank or Tony, I saw, I saw Hyun say Frank in the chat, and my mind immediately went, hey, there you go. Hey, Frank, how's it going? Moist, gray, and yeasty. Well, I'm glad that you're here. You get a... There you go. There you go. Hello, hello, Tank Girl. Morning, going on 24 plus hours, no sleep. Hey, I'm also in the no sleep train. You ever had to help a non-verbal kid try to adjust their sleep schedule? Because I don't think he understands what's happening when it comes to that. He's just like, oh, I'm still up. And I'm just like, oh my god, I want to die. But, you know. Gotta love no sleep. Alright, so we're gonna, take him, we're gonna check in with Tony. We're gonna check in with Tony. Uh... And the title of this one is, Who, What, When, Where Are Blocking Me From My Parents' Estates, My Birth Name Identifications Plus. So, I don't, I don't know, Tony. Who is blocking you from that information? I am unsure. But maybe we can find out together. Also, Tony, you still need to drop the details on you talking to Saturn. A light man. We needs to know. We've got to know. It's very important in reference to keeping a log of the excuses and lies of these people. The log of what they have said. 
Hey, Tony took his po his motivational poster down. <gasps> Is he adjusting his background again? Because we still got the knee brace box. We got the manwich thing. Looks like there's a little tiny Marvel sticker there. But we're missing the motivational poster. Hmm. Hmm. And day after day, the monies they've stole day after day, the activity of their accusations every day, who they are, what the name of them are, these people, and the categories of their accusations, the value of slander, they have to get sued. They tried to ruin a multi-trillionaire, holding a trillionaire plus hostage. These government people, a supermodel, a celebrity, a Hollywood A-list celebrity. I've been a Hollywood A-list celebrity since I was born. And I still really want to know what you've been in, Tony. I would love to know what all you have been in. Hey, hey, Mari. I'm here. How late am I? You are not late, like, at all. We've only been streaming for 10 minutes now? 11 minutes? So welcome! My goodness, the puppy dog is going crazy. Hey, hey, J Gamer. Welcome, welcome. I want Tony to get some red string. I need to see the connections in the background. I need Tony to get some red string, a whiteboard, uh, various colored note cards so that he can just write down who these people are and like show us the connections on things. I would really appreciate it. I... And needs to know what's going on in his brain. And I think that might be the only way to track it. Hey, hey, Shaw. Welcome, welcome. Tony, please. Please just get a whole bunch of note cards, red string, whiteboard. Some cork boards, too. Get some cork boards. I got to know. Tycoon since I was born. So, you know, in reference to all those categories, the lawsuits are going to be the largest lawsuits in the world against the United States government. So, you know, in reference to law enforcement, when they call the company and say, hey, why isn't the owner over there? Why hasn't the owner been there in 30 something years? How, why, where's the money that the owner was supposed to receive? You know, ask all these types of questions of finances, uh, freedom of access that I was supposed to have had. Why aren't I at my mother and father's mansions? Cops should call the properties and say, hey, why isn't he at the property? And then they'll say, oh, well, these men are the ones doing it. What's the name of those men? Where are they at? What branch of government? Who are they? What's their history? What's their date of the time they got involved in stealing from my parents? What is the location? What mm. I'm curious on what he does when he isn't making videos. He works, Frank. <laughs> Fun fact about Tony Chase. His current, because he works jobs through a temp agency, and his current working at the university, at his local university. So, like, he 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 works the job. He pays his bills. That's what he does when he's not making videos. Wow, okay, wasn't expecting that. So he's doing better than most little cows. Oh yeah, he's doing far, far better than the majority of little cows. Because uh, he knows how to keep the crazy on the inside while he, uh, you know, works a job, earns his own money, does all that fun stuff. And then he just, he he unleashes the crazy stuff either while he's driving home from work or after he gets home. Oh, and he takes really good care of his cat. His cat is very well fed, well groomed, all that fun stuff. So, uh, he owns his house, last I knew. So, yeah, like, he's, he's doing great. He's doing great. 
Hey, hey, Yami. Welcome in. It's lovely to see you, doll. Hope you're doing well. I know he's probably a cleaner. I prefer to think he's a profession. A professor, yes. Uh, he is Professor Dr. Tony Chase. Mm -hmm. He never struck me as lazy, just fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, his crazy is at the point that, again, he, he can keep that shit buried down inside of him so that he can work his job. And he doesn't talk about it till he's back home. Like, he's... At least he understands to keep the crazy, you know, on the inside while he's at work. I'm pretty sure none of his co-workers know anything about, you know, the satellite man. What is who, what, when, and where is always what you got to ask. And you got to keep a log of these people and their crimes and their accusations. It's a crime for them to block me from my mother and father's property. It's a crime for them to be holding me hostage under the name Mark Ray. It's a crime in reverence to the government stealing checks that people tried to send to me under the name Mark Ray. My mother even copyrighted the name Mark Ray because they kidnapped me and held me hostage under the name Mark Ray. I don't think you were kidnapped and held hostage under that name, and I don't think there's a copyright on that name. I don't even know if that's a real fucking name. Tony, but, but, darling. Tony. <laughs> this is what I get for not vetting videos. Yes, Anna. What is it, Anna Banana? Does you said mango with exclamation point? What happened? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> There are no kids in Frank's basement, just his hidden body counts. Yes, that is 100% correct there, Mari. 100% correct. And in reference to uh, uh, these people trying to play tricks, trying to play tricks, they mess with my mouth. The activity of their slander. They're trying to steal trillions of dollars slandering my character. Those people have to get sued for trillions of dollars. I don't know if they have trillions of dollars that's owed to you. Uh, it, you might have unclaimed property and stuff, though. You never know. Hey, hey, come along if you can't sing along. I hope that you're doing quite well today. It's lovely to have you. Good morning, Mrs. Mudduck. And because Mrs. Mudduck is here, I have to officially announce that uh, Draven of Draven's Crypt is a weenie. He is a weenie. Thank you. Stop telling my secrets. I just have a different body count than everyone else. <laughs> God, Frank. I want to be a fly on the wall in Tony's life. Ice cream machine broken in McDonald's so he can't have a milkshake? Satellite man. <laughs> I don't have trillions, but I have five dollars, two pieces of saltwater taffy, and a hair tie. Does that count? I'd say that counts. But I don't think he'll sue you. Because uh, you aren't holding him hostage under a different name. That's think you're safe, Yami. I know about the secrets of Frank's chickens. One day I shall tell all. <laughs> I have six dollars and a bunch of fig newtons. Oh, I fucking love fig newtons. I haven't had them in years. Folks and tokes and smokes, folks. Hello, 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 Billy Jim. It's lovely to see you. They're trying to steal thousands and millions of acres of farmland 
and properties, these government people, hundreds of thousands of acres they're trying to steal. They have to get sued for the value of everything that they tried to steal. Anything and everything on all levels. Yes, Frank. <laughs> Since we're all shouting at me to get attention today. Yes, Frank. <laughs> moist thank you thank you i i appreciate that immensely what exactly is wrong with draven in a nutshell i don't know much about him except his shady reputation oh it's primarily the shady reputation he's uh not good people don't lie to the cops to get a wellness check done on someone just because they haven't streamed. Like, that's weird. That's weird behavior. It's weird fucking behavior. Yes, Hyun. <laughs> Yes, Hyun. They're in a hot tub, but are they gay? Oh, let's find out. Uh, let's see. Oh, here they are. Two bros chilling in the hot tub, five feet apart, cause they're not gay. They are not gay. They are not gay. He's a weenie. Draven is a weenie. Yes, yes. Uh... Wait, what? Who did that? Draven did that. Draven did that. He called a wellness check on Shani and Rev because they hadn't streamed and lied to the cops about his relationship with them so that they would go and check on them. And he put the video up on YouTube. He put the recording up on YouTube. Yeah. Definitely not gay, but maybe curious. Oh, yeah. Possibly curious. Possibly. Uh, no, he goes to Super Weenie Hut Juniors. Super Weenie Hut Juniors. They gotta get prosecuted for physical assault, physical damage, physical attack of them raping, physically raping me, sexually assaulting me, or touching me, or trying to steal my genetics. These people got to get charged for everything. They tried to steal the mother load. They tried to steal the largest estates in American history. These people tried to steal two of the largest estates in American history. My grandparents' estates on both sides. My mother and father was the owners of my grandparents' estates, and I'm the owner of my mother and father's estates, and my grandparents' estates and the family tree information. These people fabricating, making up lies to slander my character. These people got to get prosecuted for the level of crimes of what they have tried to steal from me. These people tried to call me incompetent and they tried to steal trillions and trillions and multi-trillions of dollars. Those people have to get sued for multi-trillions of dollars. You know what? Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. We... We will definitely uh, see what we can do to help with the trillions of dollars. Hey, Aaron Mazza. Welcome in. It's lovely to have you. I hope you're doing well today. So, I think up next. I think up next we will... Check in with Rev and Shani, and then we'll do the Naked and Laughing video. And if we have time, we'll go to the other Shani and Rev video. I think that's how we'll do it. I 
I called Draven a weenie and he has never gotten over it. I was banished forever. After a year, by the way. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Question. Do we know who his parents are? Are they alive? Is he an orphan? We do not know those details. However, uh, he did say that he is the child of Doris Day and Walt Disney. He is the child of Doris Day and Walt Disney. According to him. All right, so while I get this video pulled up, uh, please enjoy Kraken Cocaine from one Mr. Fat Photog. It is a great song, man. Who did that one? I will cut your ton out. Using Kraken Cocaine to get high. That's what you say you know. You damn well know I can move my booty meat. You tell them they're scum of the earth. You say, get a job. You're destructive and I'm not. I'm out of here. I'm divorcing Jason. I'm divorcing you guys. Cause you know what? I'm always turned into a bad guy. What I'm trying to do is make fucking people happy. Fuck all of you. Maybe this is what you want. You want me to drop dead. You don't want to help someone who actually needs help. Who's helped everyone out? I was giving these people so much fucking money, and now that I don't have any fucking money, it's I'm a scam artist. But your life is a joke, <laughs> and you need <laughs> someone to help you out. Cause nobody's needing that crack and cocaine. There's terrible trouble behind it, and sooner or later you're burning your Moral of the story, don't always listen to the trolls. They don't know what the fuck they're listening or talking about. Cause nobody's needing that crack and cocaine. There's terrible trouble behind it. And sooner or later you're burning your brain. Making a mess of your mind. And we are back, and we have pulled up one of the Instagram videos that Shani and Rev did yesterday. Uh, this one comes to us courtesy of Drama Clip Dump. But, of course, you can always check out the amazing Graveyard Flowers if you would like the same video, but with the, uh, the whale cry intro and everything. It's fantastic. So, yeah. Oh, hey! It's a skits. Welcome, welcome. It's lovely to see you. Hold on, hold on. We have to do. We have to do the kitty cat. We have to show the kitty cat clip. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah! I said click. <laughs> ah! Every time. Every fucking time. Okay. Revy's post nut clarity vid. Yay! Yay! Does Shani have an actual real laugh? There are so many, and I'm sure none are real. I don't I don't know if she does. I don't know that I've ever heard her genuinely laugh. I just I don't I don't know. Hmm. Hey guys. Hey Rev. Um I don't really know what to say, to be honest. He doesn't really know what to say. Look at him. Also, thank you, Mari. I, 
That really appreciates that. Hang on, let me let me fix the the pin. But Rev, like, if you don't know what to say, why are you live? Like, don't get me wrong. I definitely do the least when getting ready for these streams. I have, I, I pull these like five minutes before I go live. I have an idea of like who I want to cover and I'll check to see if they have anything and I'll pull the videos like five minutes beforehand. I don't even watch them. <laughs> I don't vet these videos, which probably is not a good thing on my end, but like you should, you should have an idea of what you're going to talk about when you go live. Revy finally realizing it's not squirting, but scammy pissing all over him. Ew. Ew. Hashtag gray showers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it always ticks me off about that. Why are you live if you have nothing or don't know what to say? I don't know. Like, even when I do puzzle streams, sure, I don't know what the topic of conversation is going to be. But that's because, like, I just talk to my chat, and my chat pretty much decides what it is we'll be talking about. It's great. I love it. But when it comes to these streams, like, I have an idea, at least a rough outline of what I would like to do. Um, hi, Gucci Trolls. I've probably just been... Um... I've been down, really down. Probably just my bipolar, high Lynn, high first mix. What bipolar? What bipolar? What? Mango must be nicer to the blessed little laptop. The little laptop that could but can't is is doing its best. Okay. It is doing its best. I will give it that. But at the same time, yeah, maybe I should be just a little bit nicer. Maybe I should be just a little bit nicer. <laughs> the millennial pause with Rev. <laughs> like, I, I didn't really understand what people meant by the millennial pause. Until I heard other people doing it. And I was like, oh, that speech pattern. Yeah, I do that too. God fucking damn it. Just call me out, why don't you? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Hello, Dr. Small Human Esquire. You need to brush your teeth in a little bit. Yeah. He's looking like a weak Sith. <laughs> yes, yes, he is. Yes, he is. I'd be down to if some Java-looking blob pissed all over me. Ugh. Not that I'd ever let something like that happen, mind you. Of course, of course. Hey, hey, lizard. Welcome in. It's lovely to see you. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. The millennial pause... The millennial pause is also when you start a vid on like TikTok and it's just silence. Yeah. Monday's canceled. Sweet. Can I finally go to bed? I am so tired. <laughs> I am so tired. I have had a really long, not so great weekend. My weekend has not been great. I don't know if me not having to look at him is a comfort or worse because I have to hear him. I think it's a little bit worse because you have to hear him. It's just the disembodied voice of Rev. And you know that at some point he's going to do a neck theme. Yeah. Brandon, I can't remember if I said hi to you or not, but hi, Brandon. You ever think in the small, quiet moments, Rev has those reflective thoughts about just where it all went wrong? No. <laughs> no. No. 
I don't think so. I think he does have those thoughts of where did it all go wrong? Whenever uh, he actually takes to the time to do the CPS appointed teletherapy and he has to lie through his teeth so Shani doesn't like, you know, beat the snot out of him. So. It's probably just the bipolar. Thanks. And of course, the Wi Fi drops some. Ugh. Ugh. His, his pause and neck scene is the yeast trying to take over his brain. That sounds disgusting. That sounds disgusting. Yeah, I'm just depressed. I think it's just normal. Just one of those slight. For me, this type of shit could just hit um, fast, you know, and there's not really anything I can do about it. Um, I'm, I feel like I'm having to live in a freezer box, too, which isn't really enjoyable. Um, yeah, did y'all see the pictures of Rev trying to fix the furnace? It, it was sad. It was sad. Also, if it's, you know, a gas furnace, he really shouldn't be trying to fix shit, and he should tell his uncle, and his uncle should call someone. Hey, hey, dude, brothers. Lovely to see you. <laughs> I just want to go to the park and, like, walk, you know. I do not want to be in this house at all. So go outside and go on a fucking walk. Go outside and go on a fucking walk then. You have two legs. You have the ability. Go. Just fucking go. Hey, hey, six drops. Revy should ask G-Man how to make a hobo fire. He should. You could learn a lot. Don't burn off... Uh, yeah. Yeah, don't burn off your eyebrows and definitely don't burn off your lower eyebrows. Finally home from work. Yay, I'm glad that you're home from work. Took a while for the stream to start this morning because Dr. Small Human Esquire, even though he got zero sleep last night, had therapy this morning. And it was not fun. He's about to mark wiser that shit. Someone contact David Anthony. <laughs> hey, Jin Yu. Rev's audio sounding like popcorn full of pops. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They say it's 70 outside. Yeah, complain about how cold it is. Go the fuck outside. Yes. Just go outside. Just go outside. It's 60 some odd degrees today. And all of this stuff that, like, I was supposed to do last Thursday and Friday had to get moved to Tuesday because of the terrible fucking storms that knocked out power in flooded places. So, like, I'm pissed. But you know what I'm going to do? Go outside. I've gone outside a bunch this weekend. It was fun. The small human and the doggo were super happy. Just go outside. Like, I didn't complain about the shit that I wasn't able to do. Because there was no point in complaining. Shit happens. You know what? If you're cold, get up, go outside, and do something about it. You want to go outside and walk around? Go the fuck outside and walk around. Don't sit there and complain about something that you can fix, like, right now. I managed to get some extra pickles on my sandwich yesterday. Do you mean pickles. like this? Pickles, pickles, 
Pickles. Pickles. Man, check out all those pickles. Yes, Draven is a weedy. <laughs> oh, it's great. I'm exhausted today. My legs are hurting. <laughs> Scammy won't let him escape. Well, maybe if he offers to bring her back, like, a beer or something. You're almost home, Reaper? Awesome. I'm glad that you finally got picked up. Drag is outside. with a butterfly net to catch Shanny. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Rev worships the god Neronton? I Is that how you pronounce that? Neronton? I don't know. I'm bad at words. Just avoid hills and swing sets when you go outside, Mango. Those are dangerous. Yes, I I will. I will. Hello, hello, Miss Pickles. It's lovely to see you. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. Just a fantastic day. But Mingo, he can't because he can't be away from Shani's gravitational pull. Oh, that's a fair point. That is a fair point. Should have thought about that. But yeah, I'm feeling like dog shit. So if you could pray for me. Yeah, I need it. Nah, I'm yeah. good. Prayers would be greatly appreciated. Um. Honestly, though, if you look at Rev's eyes. Dude is looking sicker than usual. Like, perhaps instead of spending whatever money people donate to you on, like, bullshit, you could, I don't know, actually uh, get yourself something to eat. That would, that would be a good option. Hey, hey, Ashley Rose. Welcome in. It's lovely to see you. Is Drag wearing his... His pocket vest and safari hat? Yes, 1,000%. 1,000%. I'm sad. Give money. Yeah. I've been sad all weekend. My depression's been kicking my ass. But you know what I've been doing? Getting on here, slapping on a smile, and having fun with my friends. Because, well, sometimes that's just what you need to do. G-Man is camouflaged as a barrel. Is he a blue barrel? <laughs> howdy, howdy, brainless. I hope you're doing well today. Widow son, greetings. Welcome in. Good morning, Undead Ramen. You are not too late. We are like two minutes into the seven minute video, so you're you're on time. Don't worry. And after this stream, I need to Wash dishes. Hooray dishes. Okay. Let's continue. I don't know why I came on. Hello, hello, Marion. I'm not sure. We know why you came on, Rev. We know why you came on. You came on because Shani was like, we need money for this thing. And she always leaves it to you to do the e-begging. That's why you're on. That's why you're there. It's a very simple concept. I have a horrible dilemma. Puppy has fallen asleep on the folded laundry. Oh, no. Well, I, I don't think there's a dilemma there. I think you just need to leave the puppy where it is. The, the puppy has chosen his spot.
whatever happened to drag did he stop making videos uh drag actually renamed his channel it is now op ed fred um he's all of his shanny and rev stuff all of his local stuff is privated or unlisted so if you have a link to it you can still access it but uh he's actually been working with nate the lawyer he's been doing shit with nate the lawyer helping him with his stuff and also working his job and doing stuff with his family so and he's just he's been a bit busy She's been a bit busy. Oh my god, Spectrum, work with me here. I need to put the laundry away, but she looks so comfy. No. But you can just let the dog be, be comfy. Like, just allow the doggo to be comfy. He's a comfy puppy. Don't ruin it. <laughs> Drag is leveled up. He's too fancy for us drama chasers now. Yeah. Yeah, he's reached the level of fancy that we can cannot get. Uh, I guess just to tell you how I'm feeling and ask for prayers, basically, you know. It looks like Rev is looking up at Shani, so she can be like, "And money, money, ask them for money." Bribery with puppy treats will get the guy to move. Oh, that's a fair point, but oh. It's really nice outside, though. It's like 75 degrees out. That's amazing. So go outside. I just want to be outside. So go. Um, I don't know what to say, honestly. Bro, it's been two and a half minutes, and you have said multiple times, I don't know why I'm here. I don't know why I'm here. I just want to go outside. <sighs> Which means that, like, you, we know why you're there. Shani has you there making this video and won't let you go outside. <gasps> Is she going to let you go out to play if you make this video, Rev? Is she going to unlock the door and let you go outside to play? Jesus, fuck, grow a pair. Thank you, Gucci. You're always so kind and sweet. Yeah. Scratch my nose if I need help. Yeah, okay, bye. I have enough the right person anyway. I could go outside. I've been going outside, you know, back and forth. I should take a walk. Yeah. You should. You should take a walk. Hello, sweet puppy dog. Can I help you with something? Did you see did you see a dog pooping in their own lawn? Is that an issue? Hi. Oh, you've got really strong wiggles going. Anyway, yeah, she Rev is almost 40. He turns 40 this year. He can go outside if he wants to go outside. Like, come on, dude. Hi. Hi. Oh my god. No, don't. No, no, not the kisses. Not not on the face. You were just licking your butthole. Oh my goodness. I love you too. You're a sweet baby. He's a baby. Mm. Sorry about that. Do you think that he is just starting to realize what a loser he is? Is reality is reality hitting him in his ugly face? Doubtful, I know. But if so, then maybe it's the beginning of the end of Shani. Maybe. It would be nice. Because we all know that whenever he gets, like, super pissed off, he starts telling the truth. So, if he has gotten to a point where, without being super pissed off, he is just slowly realizing the truth... That would be great. That would be fucking phenomenal.
Hello, hello, user two. Welcome in. Lovely to see you. Do they really have a car? Did the uncle grift them a car? Um, yeah, they have a car. But it's not that the uncle grifted them a car. Uh, when they first got to Pennsylvania and stuff, like, he gave them a car to use. It, it's almost like everyone has forgotten that fact. He had the uh, he had the Cadillac. Please send money so Rev can go to the store. I mean, outside. <laughs> no, ill, Brandon. That's disgusting. No, I'm talking to a sweet puppy dog that I've been dog sitting all weekend. She's amazing. But, you know, she likes to lick her own butthole and then try and give you face kisses. And that is just inappropriate. Hey, 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 mud balls. If only I had a nickel for every time I was told, not on the face, you were just licking your butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. Y'all are all ridiculous. Definitely helped me feel better. You know? But, uh... It is what it is. I shouldn't whine. You know, I'm a guy. Guys aren't supposed to whine about shit like this. Oh, shut the fuck up. Real men... Real mask presenting persons. Real whatever the fuck. They they can express fucking emotion. If they have something to complain about, they're allowed to fucking complain. If they need to cry, they can fucking cry. It does not make you any less of a fucking man just because you have fucking emotion. In fact, it makes you more of a man. Like, ugh. Shut the fuck up. Get the fuck over it. Express some goddamn emotion. Oops. It is not that fucking serious. And that type of mentality where you're just like, men don't show emotions. Men aren't supposed to do that. That's part of the reason why the male suicide rate is so much fucking higher than that of women. Let's be real. How old are Shani and Rev at current? Uh, Rev is 39. He will be 40 this year. And Shani is 40. She will be 41 this year. Manly men don't whine. All Rev does is why. <laughs> All Rev does is why. He complains so much. It's ridiculous. I guess men don't have emotions, according to Rev. Yeah, which means that uh, Rev isn't a man, according to Rev. Yeah, Rev isn't a man, according to Rev. But, you know, part of what I do right now is social media and I, yeah, am I on here to try, if you, if you can make a donation to us because we're in need constantly, yeah, I, that would be amazing if you could do that. I oh, there it is. It would be so amazing if you could make a donation. It's the donation that'll help. The donation. It's the money that'll help me feel better. Bitch, you know what's going to help me feel better? Getting the shit that I was supposed to get done last Thursday and Friday done. Which tentatively is happening tomorrow. And it better fucking happen tomorrow. Because it's been stressing me the goddamn fuck out. Okay? That'll make me feel better. Something else that'll make me feel better. Is getting the dishes done. Something else that will make me feel better. 
is doing the things that I can to control the issues that I'm having. Money doesn't fix everything. Can money help in certain situations? Absolutely. Money can absolutely help in certain situations. But there are some situations that you you just have to figure the fix out your fucking self. Yeah. I'm 30 next week. Griffin Doggo. I'm going to be 32 on May 31st. I will be 32 on May 31st. Forever reminds me of Person Man from They Might Be Giant song. Person Man, Person Man hit on the head with the flying pan, lives his life in a garbage can. <laughs> Even his emotional manipulation is low effort. It is. It is definitely no effort. It's definitely no effort. I'm older than DSP, but younger than Boogie. Okay. Okay. That that is a good decent range. Honestly, at 35, I feel old. Then again, if I'm old, then Red Royals is old too. Her and I are a week apart in birthdays. <laughs> hey, another person will be 32. Uh my bestie, Mr. Security Monitor Lizard, is turning 34 this year. Also in May. It's a fun time. I appreciate that. And so does Shani. Um, I don't know. You know, the lawnmower is out. Yeah, the lawnmower is going to be coming out because it's spring and it's 80 degrees out. Hi, Helen Nervous. I see you want to be on the video. I just don't do that adding people to video thing, you know? I don't do that. It's not personal. Is there a park nearby? Yeah, there is. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if they, I think they have swings. <laughs> I would totally go on a swing. I used to love swings as a kid. That was one of my favorite things. I could never do the monkey bars right. Because it's just like, I don't know, I'm not a monkey. No, it's it's because you didn't have the upper body strength to do it. There's there's a lot of kids that can't use the monkey bars because they don't have the upper sh body strength for it. It is what it is. What? I don't move that way. But I love the swing and tire swings. Tire swings kick ass. One of my friends... Uh, Taryn, her name was, uh, I had a lot, I had like more girl friends in school when I was small than boys actually, but man, this is an interesting sob fest that he is doing. This one's interesting. Like, Naked and Laughing has the wrist strength of an eight-year-old. <laughs> He's built different. He is built different. Have you seen him? He's built real different. He's built fork unstable. <laughs> I like that Rev came here not knowing what to talk about. And now he's talking about how he didn't really have any guy friends when he was a child. Why is he all wrapped up if it's 80 outside? He didn't wear this all winter. Oh, because the furnace inside of the house isn't working. 
the furnace isn't working, so it's cold inside of the house. According to him. Also, I don't know if I said hi. Hi, Alina Ebony. She, her family, they had this really beautiful house. And they had a, a tire swing hanging from the tree. It was awesome. I didn't know what that was. Sorry, I didn't answer. I don't, oh, okay, that's fine, Helen. No problem. I'm just, I don't want you to be offended, you know, if you wanted to come on. I, we just don't do that. It's too risky. I thought it was to join to watch. Oh, okay, gotcha. Never too old to get on a swing. I agree with that. <laughs> Swings are cool. <laughs> swings are cool. No, swings are not cool. Did you know that swings are the number one leading cause of fat Yoshis breaking their backs? Just throwing that out there. We'll open a window, buddy. Yeah. Someone must have forgot to teach Revy how to open a window. Would warm up if he did, but shh. Yeah, shh. See, right now, I've got the uh, the storm door. I've got that open so that, you know, I can get some nice cross breeze going through the house. Same in the bedrooms, and I've got the, uh, the fans going. Because, well, I don't... It's only like 65 here right now, but I don't, I don't want to use the AC, like, then it would get too cold. It, there's a nice balance to things. You just got to figure it out. Figure out the balance. Never too old to get a job either. Hey, don't tell him that. <laughs> he definitely does not believe you. <laughs> OMG, I want the neighbors to just look out and see Rev swinging. That would be fun. <laughs> I'm going to be 37 in Cobes years this year. Oh, shit. All right. Hold on. Yes, I already read it to myself, user too, but I will read oh, it out fair. loud. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. Uh, to be fair. 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 Fun fact. Did you know that hallways and hills are the leading cause of mangoes losing control over their personal gravity? Thank you, user two. <laughs> anyway, let's move forward. Um... Depression's a bitch, though. It really, it just makes you not even want to live. It really does. You can get so low. You can get so fucking low um, that it's hard to pull yourself out of it. You know? Um, I'm not very good on talking on mental health stuff. Like Shanny is, but I'm not. Shani isn't good at talking about mental health stuff. Who lied and told you that Shani is good about talking about mental health stuff? Like, it's... No. No. Absolutely the fuck not. That's... No. What? Shani doesn't know half the shit that she's talking about. So, I don't really have much to say. <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm just feeling like shit. Damn. Yeah, 
that's a bike and a fucking half. Wow. Uh, if you could send up some prayers for me, that's number one. And I love you for that. Because uh, Jesus can cure everything and he can make me feel better. I know that. And yes, monetarily, if you'd like to support us, our um, all of our donation links for, we have PayPal, Venmo, and Cash App. That's what we got. So if you want to help us out there, the things are in the description on our channel. Seems like you may need someone. Uh, you need someone to get out and do things with. Well, you know, it's just not there. So, oh, Hella misses your Twitch gaming. <laughs> yeah, that got taken away for no reason. Amaranth can be on there every fucking day, almost nude. But Shani has a little piece of her thigh meat show up on a stream and every fucking hater cunt flags it and her channel's gone yeah we would have been making lots of she well we because we do streams together we would have been making hella fucking cash if that didn't happen but the wonderful haters oh my god there it is there it is look 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 that's nudity and it's a thigh and they go yes that's right that's nudity you're banned fuck you okay really Go look on Amaranth's channel and tell me if she's almost nude almost every fucking day. Yeah, that's right. Please donate. We need some money. Man. I like the way that he ended that because he was trying to come off all, you know, coy about why he was there and then just. Yeah, that's right. Please donate. We need some money. Good to know, Rev. But Amaranth is attractive, Revy. Therein lies the difference. Yes. Yes, there is the difference. Dude, can you scooch back, please? Thank you. There is a huge difference there. You barely made anything. Yeah, they barely made anything off of that Twitch. With how many creases Shani has, AI wouldn't be able to decipher it. <laughs> They're so stupid to think they'd be making anything. Yeah, they are. They are. But what about the other? What other half? Hold on. I'm confused. I would sooner piss on you if you were on fire than to really donate to you, Rev. Yes. Shani is the type to take selfies with the camera five feet above her head. <laughs> yeah. So, that was one of the ones from yesterday. We have another one for, from yesterday. But it's like 40 minutes long. So, I don't know how much of that we'll watch if we watch any of it. Because I do have things that I need to do. So, uh, what we'll do now... Mm. The graph says that's not thigh meat. Oh, do you mean uh this graph? Look at this graph. It's quite the graph. It's quite the graph indeed. So uh what we are going to do. Is get a song stuck in Shaw's head, then we'll watch the Ribs trailer, and then we'll watch the latest from the Jessica Chronicles. Woo! Okay, that condom fucking reeks. Say I got sauce in my pants, god damn it. Got sauce in my pants, god damn it.
Got sauce in my pants, god damn it. Got sauce in my pants, god damn it. Got sauce in my pants, god damn it. Got sauce in my pants. Say I got sauce in my pants, god damn it. Got sauce in my pants, god damn it. Got sauce in my pants, god damn it. Got sauce in my pants. I tell ya. Well, say I got pants. Say I got sauce. You know I got pants. You know I got sauce. Got sauce in my pants. Got sauce in my pants. You know I got sauce in my pants. Some of this sauce in my pants. Son of a bitch. Sauce in my pants, god damn it. Got sauce in my pants, god damn it. Got sauce in my pants, god damn it. Got sauce in my pants. Say I got sauce in my pants, god damn it. Got sauce in my pants, god damn it. Got sauce in my pants, god damn it. Got some of this, got some of this, got some of this, got some of this sauce. Sauce. All right, and then of course, because it is a Jessica video, we are going to watch the ribs trailer from the one, the only, the absolutely fan fucking tastic fat photog. The ribs are pre cooked, they're not fully done because we're gonna pull them out of the oven. I would literally chop your head off and nobody would be none the wiser. Oh, this is what you really look like? Oh, I'm off with my head. <laughs> what does him not fucking like me have to do anything with him, you fucking whore? You broke the fucking code. Yeah. What did I fucking do? If he don't want to finish his ribs, that's his problem. Now, of course, uh, this video is coming to us from Boglum Chronicles' newest channel, and that channel is The Jessica Chronicles. We absolutely appreciate all of the work that Boglum puts into things, so of course, be sure to go subscribe, and there is the link to The Jessica Chronicles. Now, let's get into it. Cool. That's your choice to look at a random wall. No one made you. Oh, I won two dollars. Oh, wow. <laughs> Groundhog Day. Hey, it just said I won two dollars and now it says I have one cent. So what is it? I wish I would have got a screenshot of it. I swear to God, these people. What money do I have? I don't have any money. What little money I do have, I pay my fucking bills and then I buy some fucking weed. What bills do you have? What what bills do you have? She has an outstanding bill for pickles like these pickles 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 Quite the outstanding bill that was a lot of pickles that was a lot of pickles. But yeah, what what bills does she have? Like, I think the only thing that she really pays for is 
her own phone, maybe? Oh, money bills. Thank you, Brandon. That tells me everything I need to know. A bill of rights and lefts. <laughs> her happy pill bills. Ah, yes. To my knowledge, her parents pay for her living expenses, yes. And she's allegedly, like, living there to help them out, but it seems like all she does is not help them out. I don't know. It's weird. No, good pickles. Oh, okay, lizard. My mistake. By the way, if y'all want good pickles, you need to hit up Security Monitor Lizard at postaliguana at gmail.com. There we go. What money do I have? If I had actual money to save, then I could already... <laughs> the water bill. <laughs> yeah that duster don't buy itself oh that's actually a really fucking good point there mud she does huff a lot of fucking duster fucking be halfway there so shut up what are you talking about saying josh is coming over where did josh ever say he was coming over uh, it's not like he can just hop skip and jump over here so You know what I like? The mustard Doritos. Those were fucking... Or what was it? Hot mustard Doritos? Those were good. <sighs> Josh drank way the fuck before I ever knew him. So what does his autism have to do with anything, you fucking idiot? Uh, let me run that back just a tiny bit. After the burp. <laughs> Josh drank... Drink way the fuck before I ever knew him. So what? Josh drank way the fuck before I ever knew him. So what does his autism have to do with anything? You fucking idiot. Josh drank way the fuck before I ever knew him. So what does his autism have to do with anything? That's a sentence. Question statement. I don't fucking know that. Was a collection of words. But what do they mean? What do they mean? Does she not work because she can't? Or refuses to work? She has worked uh, previously. She has previously worked. She used to work at a Home Depot and stuff. So she can work. She has the ability to work. She also was a cam girl for a while on cam four. So she can work. She again doesn't have glasses on. Ah, yes. Yes. Uh, hold on. I may not have glasses on, but I'm not fucking retarded. You heard her. You heard her. But I just... I don't know what that means. She makes a fair point. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't know what the fuck I tell him about anything. So who literally... The fuck are you? What does autism have to do with drinking? Well, actually, uh, eh, sometimes people with autism uh, are also susceptible to addictions. And so drinking can be an issue for some autistic persons because, well, yeah, um, it happens. She gets on stream to fight with her own chat every single time. It's such a strange way to spend the day. It is a strange way to spend the day. Because, uh, well, this morning, after my failed attempt at a nap, I did therapy with small human. 
And then I pulled these videos and I mapped out the rest of my day because I have nothing important to do until tomorrow, which is great. But, like, I'm going to do dishes and stuff. I'm here to hang out with y'all and have a good time and laugh because I needed it. But, like, I have other shit that I'm going to do for the rest of the day. And she should, I don't know, figure out something for her to do with her time for the rest of the day. That's not this. This just seems like a waste. It just seems like a waste. No, hold on, hold on. We gotta become slim for a second. Where is it? 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 Ah! That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. There we go. Yay! Is she asking what Josh's alcoholism has to do with his autism? Is she asking how they are related? Yeah, I think she is. Because someone probably brought up both his alcoholism and his autism. And she does not understand how alcoholism and autism can be related. It's funny. She clearly said Josh was drinking before she ever knew him. So what does it have to do? Yeah, I, I don't know, user two. You just woke up from a nap brain this? I am jealous. I would like sleep. Sleep is nice. Sleep is nice. Is she following in Shani's footsteps being money grubbing? Do you think she actually likes Cobes? He seems to like her less and less each visit. I, I am unsure at this point. I have had like opinions and thoughts on it before, but considering where we're at now... I am just, I'm unsure. Um, I think for her, it was more like, because she's had crushes on YouTubers and streamers and stuff before. She has gotten obsessed with people before. And this is the first one that actually, I don't know, gave her the time of day, essentially. And, like, says he's his girlfriend. That she's his girlfriend. Says that he loves her. And it just... I think she was obsessed with the idea of someone that she couldn't have. Someone that she wouldn't possibly get. And now that she has gotten him, she doesn't know what the fuck to do. And is trying to do her usual obsessive middle school bullshit of, I know that I'm ugly. I know that I'm not pretty. I know that he doesn't want me. Well, he's clearly said that he's wanted you. So it, it's, it's hard to know exactly what her angle is at this point. Know what I mean? Hello, hello, the warbler. Rev is a trash bag who pissed away 700k along with his Grifton walrus. Yes. Well. Yes and no. Yes and no. Because, uh. Well, he didn't have 700k. A lot of that was done in credit. And, uh, Shani pissed the majority of that away herself. Because she's fucking stupid. But. I digress. She should put pa she should put sauce on his pants. God damn it! <laughs> I have Cash App or PayPal. It's in the description of my live stream. Why would you send it to Josh? But you're asking me. These people like to do that just to try to piss me off. 
if you wanted to donate to him, you would already know how to do that in the first place. Literally, Josh, when I was like 16 years old, or however old, I'm probably 16, getting my triple crunch, and Josh was just a little young, and he didn't even know what a double down was yet. Oh, well, if I was 16, okay. All right. <laughs> I have been crying for my sandwich way before the double down was ever invented. I think it, it I mean, you can't make this shit up about. When you were 16, uh, Josh was. Mm, nine. Josh was nine. Because he's seven years younger than you. Um, hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. HTP is lizard says. Hold the phone. Ugh. He has to do some. Some stuff in themes. Uh, let's see. KFC. Double down. First release. <laughs> okay, so KFC's Double Down was initially released in 2010. So, yeah, yeah. I just had to know. I had to look it up. G-Man is going live about Slabby in 26 minutes. Oh, Lord. Of course he is. Why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he? Enjoy your nap there, Reaper. We'll catch you later. Nap time with Mango. Yes. It is math time with Mango. Me and Josh. I, I think it's adorable as shit. Like, you cannot make this shit up. <laughs> In case you don't know what that sound is, she's huffing duster. She is huffing duster. She does not mute herself. She does not turn the camera off. Ow! Don't do that, dude! That's fucking rude! Look, man, I appreciate that you're going through something, but please do not pinch me. Damn. Anyway. She just openly huff duster hey forever fetus toenail that sounded like the devil yeah Ooh, shani only likes white guys rev has a new car confirmed actual title oh my god watch he probably went over there and took pictures and shit that's that's creepy as fuck dude it's creepy as fuck Good way to get frostbite on your lungs. Yeah, yeah, it is. It absolutely is. So if I'm not good enough, I'm not good enough regardless, so. Alright, I gotta get dressed. Girl, you were in the bathroom from 
1 p.m. until 6.30 p.m. roughly. From 1 p.m. until like 6.30 p.m. That's a long fucking time. It's too long of a time. Stop it. Probably get something to eat too. I'm hungry. Yes, Josh is still my man. There's my buddy dog. Marlo. Milo! Come here, buddy! Milo! Come here! <laughs> Come here, sweetie! Milo, come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's my puppy friend. Hi, sweetie. Ow. Come here. You done with your walk? Come here, old man. Milo. Oh. I hope you didn't crack my phone. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Oh, no. Oh no, yes, he shattered it all over the place. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Oh no. Why why are you saving Milo Lizard? That's the neighbor's dog. It it's not her dog. That's the neighbor's dog. He just came back from a walk and she was saying hi. Don't worry. Milo Milo is in safe hands. And I don't think the neighbor likes her very much either because he's just like, oh, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Milo is safe. We love Milo. Joshy, buy me a new phone. A mean doggo broke it. Yes. Is Milo not on a leash? Well, it looks like the owner here, uh, right here, has the leash in his hand. So uh, whenever I take the dog that I'm dog sitting on a walk, uh, we, we wear a leash going around the neighborhood. And then as soon as we get back to the driveway, I take the leash off so that she can go up the stairs and get to the door. Because that's how it usually goes. So they probably have a very similar situation where they wear the leash while going around the neighborhood. Then as soon as they get to the driveway, take it off, walk the rest of the way up. Because that's like her next door neighbor and his dog. So... Wait, you and the doggo wear the leash, Mango? Do you wear matching leashes? Yes, yes. Uh, the doggo and I very much do wear matching le leashes. Um, it's just saying terrible things that I shouldn't say. Can we just cancel me already? Like, just Take me out of my misery, shall, shall we? <laughs> Just do it. Anyway. Oh, I didn't think he would, I didn't think it would do that. Oh, Milo. Oh, my God. Yeah. I need the new phone now. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's great. Smithereens. <laughs> Milo, Milo, <laughs> Love the quality. I hope he keeps his dog leashed in the future so she doesn't do that dumb shit and call him over. I mean...
Nah, it's funny though. <laughs> it's funny though. It gives me a giggle. <laughs> That's most definitely what's up. It is most definitely what is up, tubes. It is. The only time my dogs were on a leash is when we went to the vet. Of course, I live in the middle of nowhere, and the point of having a dog is defeated if they're not free to eat intruders. Yeah, that's fair, Mud. That's fair. I'll give you that. Don't give away my secrets, Hillbilly Jim. Those are my secrets. Uh, completely unrelated, but are you a natural brunette, Mango? Yes, I am. I am a natural brunette. Uh, that's just my luck. It's whatever. Sorry about that. Oh, I didn't expect it to. I didn't expect it to smash from that level, but <laughs> uh, uh, that's just my luck. I still love you, buddy. No, oh, my phone is really broken now. That's no, I seriously can't have anything nice with my fucking life. The least you could do is fucking offer to buy me a new phone. Your dog just broke my fucking shit. You had your phone outside of a phone protector sitting on a tripod. And you called him over. You called him over. Knowing that your phone wasn't protected from anything and just sitting on a tripod. Somehow, some way, I don't think that uh, the owner should have offered to buy you shit. I don't think the owner should have offered to buy you shit. Actions have consequences, and sorry, but you should have fucking known better. Is what it is, as uh, your boyfriend would say. You punch your phone all the time, yeah. She punches her phone constantly. It's like her favorite activity. Just punching phones. The doggo broke it when you called it over. You're going to have to get your boy Joshy to buy you a new one. Yep. She sure is. Or instead of using that uh, Cam 4 money that she was going to spend on a new jacket for Josh, she could just buy herself a new one. Jessica, not taking responsibility for her own actions? What? I know. I know. It's wild. No, hold on. Do, do, do. I gotta scroll through all of these because I have a bunch. Uh, oh, there to, it be is. to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. Uh, to be fair. To be fair. Oh, to be fair. Uh, to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. Gravity should be held responsible. <laughs> she should have secured her phone. Yeah. She should have secured her phone. She should have made sure that it was in a proper case. I have dropped my phone. The only thing that's cracked in five years is the USB-C thing, and it still charges. Um, my phone has a massive shatter in it right near the home button because I was helping my mom load groceries into the back of her car. We forgot that my phone was sitting right by the trunk latch, so when she closed it, 
Yeah. But it still works just fine. It works just fine. Or she can release the Joshi sex tapes to OnlyFans and make enough for a few phones. <laughs> yes. Yes, that is an option. But Joshi did say no. So. Joshi did say no. And OnlyFans actually has some pretty strict rules about that. Um, for every performer that is in your videos, you have to have a performance paperwork on file with OnlyFans. Like, why is this my fucking life constantly? You don't even know what my phone fucking looks like right now. It's fucking smashed to goddamn smithereens. Yeah, what do you mean it's still working? It's fucking smashed everywhere. It doesn't even fucking matter anymore. It's just constant. It doesn't matter. Other people say they'll send me a phone too, and they never fucking do. So I don't fucking believe nobody. So I don't want to fucking hear it. I don't want to fucking hear it because I don't fucking believe it from nobody because everyone tells me the same shit all the fucking time. From the one night I streamed outside. This shit is literally fucking ruined. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but that's just the music is perfect. It's perfect. I absolutely appreciate Boglum Chronicles for that. Because that was just so well done. So well done. Ah. Look at that. Why was your phone outside of a case? Look, look here, listen. I'm stupid. My phone is not in a case. I am aware of the fact that my phone is not in a case. I, I am aware of the consequences that could happen because my phone is not in a case. I'm aware. But you're acting all shocked that it got knocked over and the screen shattered. You're acting very surprised by this. And you shouldn't be. Oh, whatever. The dog broke my fucking phone. The dog broke my phone and my neighbor just said, oh, I'm sorry, and then just walked off. And now my phone is fucking broken into goddamn fucking pieces. Yes, I'm fucking pissed. The dog knocked my fucking tripod over and my phone f fell flat over and fucking is cracked in a million fucking pieces now. I'm goddamn fucking pissed. It's hard to my fucking life. Oh, you want to win the lottery psych? <laughs> Fuck you. Bitch, a lot of people want to win the lottery, but... That can't be your only life plan. What? Oh, you want to win the lottery cycle? Yeah. It's an unrealistic expectation to win the lottery. Good boy, Milo. Who's the goodest boy? Yeah, Milo is the goodest boy. Milo is the bestest boy. And you know who's really dumb? That bitch is. That bitch is dumb. I'm still using my iPhone 8 Plus. I have it from 2017. Still works fine. Yeah, see? Very, 
very short-sighted goals here, Jessica. Get it together. Yeah. Hello, hello, Red Eye. I got an iPhone 15 recently. It got screen armor, lens armor, and a folio case that fully protects the phone. And a silicone bumper for the edges. Ooh. I can throw my phone at Mach 3 at your fucking head and my phone will be fine. Your head will not. <laughs> hello, hello. Hey, it's just Ray. I hope that you are doing quite well today. I had my iPhone 11 and it was in perfect condition for a few years. Gave it to my husband and it got cracked within a couple months. Well, damn. <laughs> that sucks. Why are men? Just why are men? <laughs> I'm so tired of my fucking life. Oh, break your phone? Oh, sorry, my dog did that. Bye. Yeah, I called the dog over, but that doesn't mean uh, the dog can knock my stuff over and break it. And then my neighbor just went, Ooh. Yeah, because the dog, totally being a dog, broke your phone on purpose, bitch. That's what happened. The dog, being a dog, broke it on purpose. Well, what the fuck are you on about? Like, what? Ugh. This bitch gives me a headache. She drives me insane. So that means I deserve to get my phone broken in the process? Oh, yeah, so I deserve everything in my life. And I oh, got it. Thank you, Boglum Chronicles, for putting that together for us. Of course, that, came, that comes from the new channel, Jessica Chronicles, which uh, I will once again post into the chat for y'all. There it is. Okay, look. Look here, listen. Lizard, you know what? I... I'm not looking to argue with you. I will... I will argue with you after you get home. Okay? At least I admitted that I broke my phone of my own accord because I closed the trunk on it when helping my mother with groceries. I am aware of what I did. I'm aware. I know these scenes. Kind of fucking butthead. <laughs> Damn it. Wrong thing. All right. So we are going to do another slight musical break while I try not to murder my best friend <laughs> for being an asshole. We'll, uh, we'll listen to double D's. Hey, hey, Queen Cat Lady. We'll listen to Double D's. Then we will go uh, and watch this this Kate video. And then we might get out of here because I do need to go wash dishes and stuff. I got, I got things to do. I got stuff and things. So, yeah. Although I prefer a nice pair of double D's, nice pair of double D's. I prefer a nice pair of double D's. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now we're talking. I prefer a nice pair of double D's. Squeeze your nice pair of double D's. I prefer a nice pair of double D's. And fucking, you know what I'm saying? So like they're big enough to squeeze, squeeze in your boobs, squeeze in your titty. Yeah. Now we're talking. Boob in each hand. 
squeezing your nice pair of double D's. Your dick gets hard like a hot dog. Yeah, your dick gets hard and it's fucking. You're squeezing your dick. They're a nice pair of double D's. Nice pair of double D's. I prefer a nice pair of double D's. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, now we're talking. I prefer a nice pair of double D's. Yeah, a nice pair of double D's. Yeah, a nice pair of double D's. And fucking. Yeah. And then fucking. You know what I'm saying? But good lordy. Yeah, now we're talking. Squeezing your double D's. Squeezing your dick like a hot dog. I prefer a nice pair of double D's. Nice pair of double D's. I prefer a nice pair of double D's. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, now we're talking. I prefer a nice pair of double D's. Yeah, a nice pair of double D's. Yeah, a nice pair of double D's. And fucking. Good lordy. Good lordy. Good lordy. Good lordy. You know what? Lizard. Just saying my phone isn't broken. Yeah, I know. Your phone is just slow and terrible. Okay? Shush. You close the trunk on your phone. And you close the doors on your boobs. And one time I closed my laptop on my nipple. And as Lizard said, I also got attacked by a hallway. But look, we're not here to talk about the things that I have done out of being a clumsy bitch. Okay? <laughs> that is not what we're here for. We're not here for Mango's Clumsy Bitch Chronicles. Let's watch Kate cook bad, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to take this back a little. What? What was the first can of stuff that you used? All right, so we got cream of mushroom. Cool, cool. That's... And the second one was, I'm assuming that's cream of chicken by the looks of it. Yeah. Okay, so cream of mushroom and cream of chicken. Cool, cool. Veggies and garlic. That was a ton of fucking pepper. That. Why? Are you going to mix it all together? Or are you going to do the right thing and mix it? Please tell me that you're going to mix it. Please. I know, bud. I know. It's ridiculous. She's being ridiculous. Now, I'm a fan of using the onion soup mix for certain things. Onion soup mix uh, is really great on some crock pot pork chops. Like, I enjoy that. It's good. But what she's doing here, no. Also, never use the onion soup mix for onion soup. It's fucking disgusting. Spend the four hours to caramelize your own fucking onions, okay? Just do that. Just do that. Waiting for the bacon, butter, beer, and Doritos. Ugh, that's most definitely what is up, Tubes. Most definitely what is up.
It looks like shit. Like actual, literal shit. It, it looks like shit. Ma'am, why are you making shit? Why, why make shit? I don't understand. Sounds sloppy. It is. That's the sound Revy makes after a gray shower. Thank you, Hillbilly Jim. You can see yourself to the corner at any time. Holy smokes, is this a great recipe. No, it's I not. I love this no, recipe. It's, not. it's so good. So we've got our meat, cream of mushroom soup, mixed vegetables, cream of wild mushroom soup, some, what else? Olive oil with some hash browns on top. It's so good. Whoa. This looks great. How perfect those are. You can tell which side of the oven is more evenly Oh, my God. She loves layering, doesn't she? Yes. Yes. Layering is her favorite thing to do. Layering is her favorite. I'd still eat this before I touched anything Cobes has made. That's fair. That's fair. Mango. Mango. Why do you hate me? I don't hate you. I don't hate you. I promise. Whoa. Yeah, but I do agree, Hillbilly Jim. I, too, would eat this before anything that Cobes has made. But this food is gross. I know. That's why we're watching it. Did. Not that side, that's for sure. So let's cut into it. This is like a, a gourmet tater tot hot dish. If you are in the Midwest, you know what tater tot hot dish is. And you're about to get really excited. Yami, I did not know she was going to say that. I did not know that she was going to say that. Please do not hate me. I did not know that she was going to say that. Oh, my God. I did not know that she was going to bring up tater tot hot dish. I love you. <laughs> I'm sorry. For how this is about to turn out. like to serve them based on hash browns. Holy smokes on fire. Are you kidding? Look at that. It's hard to scoop up nicely, but I just wanted you to get a peek of it, but I can't flip it upside down. So that's what you get to see. Isn't that incredible? Oh, the seasoning in here is just the perfect. Yum. So good. It's a little oily. You could take a paper towel and soak it all up if you wanted to, but so good. Thank me later or thank me now. Either one is fine. No one that I know is going to thank you for that. Mm. Lunch ladies from Wisconsin and that other state are going to hunt her down for this. Not that other state. Who knew? 
Uh, Mango, have you seen Cobes ruining crab? I'm allergic to shellfish. How did he mess it up? Okay, so uh, we did watch the Cobes ruining crab video yesterday. Um, and, well, he had snow crab legs. Snow crab legs were sent to him by a viewer. Which, I mean, if you're going to waste your money, don't send him good food to make. Jesus. But uh, it typically only takes about mm, 10, 15 minutes to fully cook your snow crab legs. It does not take long. He first melted butter in the bottom of his pan. He added uh, garlic, lemon, a few other things. Put the crab legs in there. And then he covered them in Bud Light Platinum white wine and water. And he boiled those crab legs for a long time. For for a long time. He completely destroyed those crab legs. He completely fucking ruined those crab legs. Mango knew. Mango knew all along. <laughs> but yeah, he just it was not good. Oh, and he tried the white wine and um he he said that it was like white wine. So if you didn't know that white wine is like white wine, now you do. It was not good. So before we get out of here, uh, I will show y'all one more real quick fat photog thing. Because, well, yeah. Oh, wait. Hold on. Do, 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 do. To be fair. 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 A white wine, butter, and garlic reduction would be good on crab. That is. I will give you that mud. That that would be a really good flavor profile for crab, from what I understand, but. What he did is not that. <laughs> Decidedly, what he did is not that. So here, watch this quick fat photog clip. It's only like a minute long, and then we'll do the ending spiel and get the fuck out. I do not believe that I actually showed anything uh, of my body that was inappropriate. By uh, the standards of good taste, by YouTube's uh, community standards. Now, I do love my body. Other people don't have to love my body. Uh, it's not their body, it's mine. And I decided to stay on the show. Ask me about my wiener! Saint a wiener schnitzel, we're all together now. With hamburgers and hot dogs, no more need to look around. So, thank you all for joining me today on that adventure. Eh. Um, things that we learned. Uh, naked and laughing is stupid still. Uh, and definitely overreacts to things. Uh, Rev is also stupid. Go figure. Kate! Stupid. And I guess that's why their features on Stupid Morning Bullshit. So, uh, as always in the description, you'll find links to the stream purse I'm on the shared stream yard with. You'll find links to the Petty Fam. You'll find links to Tito and Yato. Tito's funnier than Yato. You'll find Mango's master list of U.S. resources. Um, tonight, 5.30 p.m. Eastern over on Slim Cyborg's channel. They are doing... What is it that they're doing? Hold on. Let me double check because I don't want to say the wrong thing. Do, 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 do. Do, 
do yes uh it's the crazy shit stream they're going to be debunking the film you've been trumped to so go over to slim cyborg's channel for that um and of course monday through thursday there's stuff happening on slim cyborg's channel wednesday night on underhaven or on Vaughn's channel? I'm not sure. I'm sure we'll figure it out. But Anna's talking to Vaughn on Wednesday night. Anna is having a conversation with Vaughn fucking Helton on Wednesday night. So keep your eyes out for that. Thursday night, of course, is CSB. Uh, Friday, The Sanctum. Also, Piplash, probably, maybe. Saturday night, Underhaven. Sunday, if Lizard is available. Brunch. We've got a packed week with wonderful things for everyone to to stop by and check out. So, all that being said, thanks again for everyone that was here. Um, I hope that y'all have a fantastic rest of your day, and even better tomorrow. And I will see y'all on the next one. Bye, guys.